Have you ever dreamed about walking on water or even tried it before? Well, my name's Enes and today I'll try to walk on water. That was stupid, but why did I think? Why it is so hard to walk on water? Let's talk about surface tension. Well, surface tension is the tendency of fluid surfaces to shrink into a minimum surface area possible. In other words, it is the force created when water molecules cling together. This force is so weak to support a human weight because the force of gravity overcomes surface tension and then breaks the links between water molecules and that makes us sink. That also explains why tiny creatures, especially water striders, can float and even slide on water. Because surface tension becomes dominant, allowing them to float stably on water. And to better understand how surface tension actually works, I propose you an experiment. Well, this is a quite simple experiment in which we will use a bowl filled with water and this piece of steel that we will try to balance on the surface of the water. Just like this. Well, even though this piece of steel is much more dense than the water, it keeps floating. Because, in this case, the force of gravity applied on this object is so weak as a result of its weight. Consequently, the force of the surface tension of the water keeps the body afloat. But once we apply a pressure on the object, we break the links between water molecules and then it directly sinks. And this is how surface tension actually works. After knowing all these physical theories that somehow block us from walking on water, we can conclude that in order for us to walk on water, our feet need to be so much bigger than they are currently, like a hundred meters square, so we won't break surface tension and keep standing stably on water, which is clearly impossible. But how about running on water just like basilisk lizards? That seemed quite feasible. We just have to develop a speed up to 100 km per hour, which will take about 15 times more energy than a human body is capable of expanding. Seems impossible, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But even though physics makes things harder, we can cheat. For example, we can reduce gravity using this. Or we can walk on a non uniform pool like this. Finally, I have a question for you. Have you ever walked on ice? If yes, then congratulations because technically you've walked on water.